Hi, in this video, using Microsoft Excel, I will show how to invest in an optimum portfolio, which will maximize the profit and minimize the risk. This concept is also known as efficient diversification in modern portfolio theory. Since you are watching this video, I will assume that you are at least familiar with this chart. This chart comes from the modern portfolio theory and the tangency portfolio, which is B, is the optimum portfolio. I will recreate a fairly similar chart in Excel using price information of two companies, Walmart Incorporation and Intel Corporation. Let me ask you a few questions so you understand the essence of efficient diversification. If you have $1,000 to invest and have decided to invest in Walmart and Intel stocks, how many stocks will you buy for each of the companies while not exceeding your $1,000 limit and at the same time constructing an optimum portfolio that maximizes your portfolio return and minimizes your portfolio risk? In this video, we will find the answer to this question. Let's open an internet browser. Go to the webpage finance.yahoo.com. In the quote lookup box, type in the ticker symbol WMT for Walmart Incorporation. Click the historical tab. Define the time period as September 1st, 2015 to September 1st, 2020. From the drop-down menu, set the frequency as monthly. Press Apply. Press Download. Open the WMT CSV file in Excel. Check if you have a total of 60 months or 60 rows. Delete all the columns except the date and closing price. Rename the close as WMT P. Now follow the similar steps. Go back to finance.yahoo.com. In quote lookup box, type in the ticker symbol INTC for Intel Corporation. Click the historical data tab. Define the time period as September 1st, 2015 to September 1st, 2020. From the drop-down menu, set the frequency as monthly. Press Apply. Press Download. Open the intc.csv file in Excel. There should be a total of 60 months or 60 rows. Copy the closing price column and paste it in the WMT CSV file. Rename the close as INTCP. Now we'll calculate monthly expected return and risk for both of these stocks. Using return formula, calculate monthly return for Walmart and Intel. Copy the formula for each and every month. Calculate annual expected return and standard deviation or risk.
calculate correlation coefficient between Walmart and Intel by using this formula. Let's assume risk-free rate is 0.67%. Now we are going to construct at least 101 portfolios by changing the percentage of money invested in both stocks. We will limit ourselves to 101 portfolios for the simplicity. You can make as many as you can to make the chart look better. In computer simulation software, you may have infinite number of portfolios using these two stocks. Let's create columns such as Portfolio, Weight WMT, Weight INTC, Portfolio Risk, Portfolio Return, and sharp ratio. Now, create the first portfolio by investing 100% of your money in WMT and 0% in INTC. Change the weight of the subsequent portfolios by 1%. Specifically, create second portfolio by investing 99% in Walmart and 1% in Intel. For the last portfolio, which is 101, make sure to invest 0 in Walmart and 1 in Intel Corporation. To make the cell static, you will use dollar sign before and after the cell. The shortcut to do this is press F4 after you click the cell. Let's calculate portfolio risk by using this formula and copy the formula down to 101 portfolio. Make sure that the portfolio risk for the first portfolio is equal to the risk of Walmart because you invested nothing in Intel. The portfolio risk for the last portfolio is equal to Intel risk because you invested nothing in Walmart. Use this formula to calculate portfolio return. Copy the formula down and keep to decimal places. Now make sure that the portfolio return for the first portfolio 
is equal to Walmart return because you invested nothing in Intel. Similarly, the portfolio return for the last portfolio is equal to Intel return because you invested nothing in Walmart. Now calculate Sharpe ratio by using this formula. Copy the formula down to calculate Sharpe ratio for all the portfolio. It's time to find out the optimum portfolio. First, we will find the optimum portfolio by using Sharpe ratio. The rule is optimum portfolio has the highest Sharpe ratio. In our case, portfolio number 30 has the highest Sharpe ratio, hence the optimum portfolio. What it means is that 71% of your money should be invested in Walmart and the remaining 29% should be invested in Intel. If you invest in this combination, you are holding an efficiently diversified portfolio. Now remember, we started this video with an assumption that you have $1,000 to invest in Walmart and Intel. So based on this exercise, you will invest $710 in Walmart and $290 in Intel. Another way to find the optimum portfolio is creating a chart that I promised in the beginning of the video. Let's make the chart. Select all the values for portfolio risk and return. Go to insert menu and select chart type as scatter with straight line. Change the chart title as optimum portfolio. Since the risk-free rate is 0.67%, we will draw a straight line from 0.67% and draw it as a tangent to the efficient frontier. Now, the point that represent the tangent point between straight line and efficient frontier is the optimum portfolio or tangent portfolio. If you magnify the chart, you should be able to see that the 30th portfolio is the tangent portfolio, also our optimum portfolio. I hope this video helps.